Welcome to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where you can learn and be inspired by real-world examples of how technology is transforming businesses and reshaping industries in a language everyone can understand. Here is your host, Neil C. Hughes. Welcome back to the Tech Talks Daily Podcast, where every day I beam your ears to a completely different part of the world and I share a human tech story of how technology is transforming an area in life, business, or the world that you don't necessarily think of or associate with technology. And we have talked a lot recently about how much the world has changed in the last two years. But if we dare to zoom out a little further, the world has changed so much in the last 10 years. For example, in my career, I remember the days where everyone grew up in the town that they were raised in and then got a job for life. Maybe a few who had bigger ideas and bigger dreams would head for the nearest big city. But that was life and that's as far as you could take it. But now we're living in a world of distributed teams. We can literally live anywhere in the world and work anywhere in the world. And for many that make that brave move, they will want to send money back home to their families. And despite doing the right thing, banks would charge huge fees of over 10%. But I want to explore how technology is changing now. And a company called World Remit is a digital global payments company designed to give people around the world convenient, quick and safe, easy ways to send money whenever they need it. But making sure that their hard-earned cash goes further than before. And I think that is more important than ever at the moment, isn't it, with the current climate? But how do they do it? What is the tech behind it? What is the story behind the company? Well, buckle up and hold on tight as I beam your ears all the way to Manila in the Philippines so we can speak with Earl Malivo from Manila, who's going to share his tech story. So a massive warm welcome to the show. Can you tell the listeners a little about your journey, how you got here, and ultimately share your origin story with everyone listening? Well, uh, thank you for this opportunity, Neil. And... uh... Uh, just to share my uh, where I came from. So basically, been in the uh, international remittance or money transfer uh, business for more than a decade now. Uh, graduating from university, I worked with uh, banks. Uh, I stayed there for uh, probably around five five years, and then uh, went straight to um, after graduating the uh, management training program of uh, one of the leading banks in the Philippines. I was uh, fortunate enough to join the remittance arm uh, of the of the of the bank. So that's when I got my uh, feet wet uh, in the industry and uh, took it from there. I also came through uh, and helped build um, uh, some ecosystems around international remittances for mobile wallets in the Philippines. And then uh, I chanced upon World Remit when uh, they had the opportunity to expand uh, in the Philippines as a receiving market. Uh, I had a chance to meet our um, co-founders um, and, and they hired me straight away, uh, which was a, really a blessing for me because it was um, uh, a, 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 the start of a great journey with a financial technology company that is global in, in scale. Uh, so yeah, it's been uh, more than a decade. I've been with World Remit for uh, probably a good five years uh, today and has been enjoying uh, since the, I first joined the company. Awesome. And of course, as you said, that path led you to World Remit, which is a digital global payments company. I'm conscious there's going to be a lot of people listening that have not heard of you or or hearing about you for the first time today. So can you just tell them a little bit more about the kind of problems that you're solving for businesses and what makes you a little bit different from other solutions out there? Well, uh, World Remit is, uh, as you said, it's a digital uh, uh, financial company. We we primarily focus on enabling transfers uh, for migrants. Uh, to their families back home. So case in point, um, uh, we were founded in 2010 by an uh, an immigrant himself, Mr. Ishmael Ahmed. He used to study in in the UK um, and uh, started out the company because he he had a hard time sending money back to his family. And uh, we've been uh, trying to solve or provide solutions uh, to the daily uh, uh, concern of of sending money back home for for our migrant uh, customers. And uh, we we are primarily built. Uh, we've primarily built built our own or our proprietary technologies, mainly our own app and website, in facilitating digital transfers uh, across 130 countries uh, today. And uh, yeah, we've I think 
uh, were one of those who came in first to do it on a global scale, purely handling remittances on the digital side, on the send side, uh, digitally, going to receiving countries, uh, including the Philippines, for example, which is our major uh, receive market. Uh, we still continue to uh, solve uh, complex solutions and trying to provide uh, meaningful solutions uh, that would better the lives of not just our sending customers, but also obviously their recipients uh, back home. Um, and uh, we've contributed well uh, to, the, to the whole industry because uh, we've made um, efficient strides on how to uh, facilitate transfers uh, 24 by 7 almost instantly uh, in almost all of our uh, transactions, more than 90%. Uh, and uh, the overall cost for sending money uh, has lowered down for the past um, uh, 10 years, 20 years, uh, sorry, 15, 10, 15 years because of companies like Fortunate, because we do have a, a, a cost efficient way of doing it uh, using technology. That's one. And number two, uh, we flow back whatever, well, majority of our uh, earnings uh, to, our, uh, uh, to our customers. Um, again, uh, it's whatever cost saving we have, uh, we translate it to customer cost savings as well. And that problem that you're solving will resonate with so many people listening all over the world to this podcast who want to send money back home. And, and like you said, for many years, it was so expensive in, to do that. But Indeed. I'm curious, a lot has changed and remittance tech has been booming over the last few years. So w what kind of trends are you seeing at the moment in that world? Uh, that's a very good question. Um, let, let me uh, throw back some history about yeah. uh, where we came as a remittance uh, service provider and where the industry actually generally came. So more than 10 years ago, sending money to uh, even um, uh, established uh, receiving countries like, like the Philippines were, it would actually take about, what, one, two, three days even. Yeah. Uh, and it was because of the, type, the type of technology being used back then. It was um, mainly secured file transfer protocol or SFTP as we call it. But when we, uh, when the industry adapted uh, API-based solutions, um, which is basically system-to-system -system integration, we're able to uh, facilitate transfers almost instantly. And that has been the, the widely used technology at the moment. But what excites us uh, going further is that um, there are other technologies out there that is already being adopted by uh, some of the players, or perhaps uh, in the near future, most of the players, uh, like blockchain technology, for example. Uh, which they uh, many touts as as one uh, as, as more secure than the, the current uh, uh, types of technologies out there, like the API technology. But um, I guess what excites me more are uh, the improvements that we can actually do given the current available technology out there. Uh, case in point, for example, is machine learning. Many companies, like uh, actually several companies, like Ultimate, has already adopted. Uh, using using AI or machine learning technologies in, in our pricing models. Uh, it used to be very hard for uh, pricing managers to uh, put up uh, the exchange rates, uh, given the volatilities in the market. You have to do it manually, uh, what, four or five years ago? But now, uh, through AI, we're able to, uh, our own system that we developed um, uh, is able to basically um, set these prices up and uh, on, a, on a more automated way, we just want a handful of people deciding um, uh, or guiding the, 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 the system. Um, so it, it, these kinds of technology uh, are now uh, being adopted uh, by the likes of Roll Jamit. And that's what excites me. Uh, it, any improvements in our systems would, would obviously yield benefits, um, uh, not just for the company itself, but obviously for our customers. And the world is moving so quick at the moment, and there's so many people now working in distributed teams with people working all over the world, and the world's having to adapt as a result of that. So what direction do you think the industry is heading now in this increasingly digital world we find ourselves in? Oh, you already mentioned uh, the answer to that question. Yeah. Uh, that's that's uh, adaptability yeah. and going digital. Um, we've seen over the past two years, uh, especially during the onset of the pandemic, uh, wherein um, a lot of people who used to send offline are now sending online. So, for example, those in the U.S. who still who migrants who who used to send uh, money back to the Philippines, for example, they they went through uh, remittance agents, physical stores, uh, to hand over cash. But because of the pandemic, 
um, uh, it accelerated adoption to digital services like World Dominion. Now they can actually send money over the, uh, just using a few taps in, in their phones, mobile phones. So that's, that's, that's adaptability both on the customer side and also obviously uh, uh, to the likes of World Remit uh, as a company. And, and that's where we're heading, basically more adoption towards uh, these digital, uh, 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 digital financial services. And before you came on the podcast today, I was doing a little bit of research. And one of the things that stood out was this mission that you're on to disrupt the status quo of international money transfers because the big boys have been in the business so long and extortionate <laughs> charges, et cetera. But, but can you yeah. expand on that mission? Ah, uh, Yes. Um, well, um, as I have shared earlier, uh, we the company was founded by an immigrant himself. Yeah. So uh, he knows the pain points of sending money uh, from doing it offline, now doing it online. Uh, through the convenience of where of, of your mobile phone, uh, even the incumbents, as we call them, the the big players in the industry for the past uh, several decades, they are now build, building uh, their services towards the digital channels. So we were um, we were lucky enough. No, uh, actually, we, we were. Uh, I mean, uh, the the foundation of the company was uh, ahead of its time. Uh, our technology was built. Uh, sorry, our services was built on technology primarily, and, and not just on, not just on the network um, itself. But yeah, the, the technology. It's, uh, we we were able to do to basically offer where what we have now ahead of our time. And during the pandemic, it only got accelerated. So we're basically continuously disrupting the market, not just on the technology front, but also on the pricing side. Um, uh, as I uh, shared earlier. The cost of sending money before used to be more than ten dollars or ten pounds per transaction, which is what ten percent, almost eight, ten percent of of uh, of uh, uh, the remittance amount being sent. So imagine mm. the cost savings now. The average is just about five, six percent. Uh, at least in the case of Philippines, it's still already below five percent of the, the send amount. So imagine the cost savings we provide, not just sorry, the disruption. Uh, uh, that we're providing um, through the cost savings that we we actually basically offer to our customers, and, and that's how we um, directly impact uh, or directly disrupts the industry. And the listeners of this podcast are scattered across 165 different countries. So for everyone listening, who are your customers, and can you possibly offer a use case to help listeners understand how it all works and and how it could work for them too? Our primary customers are migrants. Um, yeah. Although we we do have customers that send support uh, or payments, um, but our primary focus is really to facilitate transfers uh, for migrants uh, uh, to their families um, uh, back home. Uh, we've uh, built our, our our proprietary platforms, our own uh, mobile app and and uh, website. Our website is www.worldremit.com or just they can uh, download our mobile app uh, at Google Play or Apple Store. It's a world remit app uh, with just uh, a few things that you need to provide to us, like your name and basic details, plus a copy of, our, of your ID, for example, and upload it in our app. And, uh, and yeah, in just uh, a few taps, you can actually send money back, uh, back to your uh, family in, in the receiving countries uh, where you came from, for example. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's very easy and convenient. You can do it 24 by seven. There are, although uh, I must admit, there are sending countries that we have yet to launch in, but uh, we're available to more than uh, 50 countries. And that includes the UK, uh, Europe, um, US, Canada, major sending countries from, from Asia Pacific, including uh, Australia, for example. So we're, we're fairly much global. Uh, we send across 130 uh, uh, countries, including the Philippines. And uh, the payout is is available through different channels. Uh, we still maintain a good network of cash payouts. Uh, cash is still king in many of the receiving countries, um, and so we still maintain those uh, that type of payout service. Uh, we also send to mobile ba- mobile wallets across the globe, and also uh, bank accounts. So, yeah, we we have a complete array of services available twenty four by seven. And one of the things about finance is it's often perceived as this quite uh, almost cold world and impersonal but of course your technology is making a big impact on your customers and to people around the world so but i'm curious do you ever get to hear any feedback on on how that technology is impacting your customers is that something you get to hear uh yes we we actually uh try to listen to our customers on a regular basis we run surveys and um uh, and recently we validated what we already know which is the importance of sending money back home uh, you know, just to share with you, um, 
the latest customer survey result yields that more than 50% of our customers are sending money back home because of sustenance yeah. of uh, for daily expenses, for medical expenses, and for education. So that's how important uh, our money transfer service is. And our technology, given that it can be, I mean, you can send money 24 by 7 at the convenience of your uh, phone, and uh, the money is, is sent right away and received right away by the recipients uh, back home. So that, that's how we impact the lives uh, the, the lives of our customers. Uh, obviously, anything uh, that they save from sending through us would translate to more money being uh, used by their families. Uh, so it, it positively impacts the recipients. And in the case of Philippines, where 10% uh, of the population is dependent on remittances from abroad, uh, it's, it's, it's very basically significant and positively uh, uh, affects uh, these migrant families. And as we said at the beginning, this world is moving so fast at the moment. And are there any particular tech trends that excite you at the moment or anything you're keeping a close eye on? Uh, uh, yeah, well, uh, as I shared earlier, it's uh, mainly uh, new technologies like blockchain yeah. uh, and, and machine learning that we are already adopting into our systems. I think there, there will be more uh, innovations within this space. Uh, I don't think uh, the application of which uh, will just be within uh, the current um, uh, service offerings that we have. Uh, there are uh, other applications around um, these types of technologies, uh, which would just be basically further enhance uh, or uh, disrupt uh, the industry overall. And what's next for you guys? Where, where do you go from here? I appreciate there's probably not too much you can share, but is there anything there is? <laughs> <laughs> we, well, we, we continue to focus on what are our current goals and has yeah. been our goal, which is basically provide better, faster, more efficient services that we have. Uh, but we're looking into other um, uh, services that I cannot div divulge at the moment. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, excited to uh, have those announcements soon. Uh, hopefully, uh, we'd be able to offer services not just for senders, but also to, to our recipients as well. So yeah, looking forward to um, uh, building those and launching those services yeah, in the near future. Awesome. And I wish you the best of luck on your journey. But before I let you go, it's time to have a little bit of fun with you now. I always ask my guests to leave everyone listening with a personal note of inspiration or something that's important to them. So can you leave leave everyone listening by sharing your favorite song or a song that just helps you get your head in the zone and we'll add it to our Spotify playlist? Uh, if I may, Neil, I'd like to share uh, two of my, my most favorite songs. Uh, awesome. One is more religious. Yeah. Uh, it's a, a song uh, titled God Will Make a Way. And uh, I, almost every day I, I actually sing it. It goes by the tune of God will make a way where there seems to be no way. He works in ways we cannot see. God will make a way. God will make a way. So every time I, I, I actually uh, encounter any problem, I, I just sing that and, and calmness just kicks in. So yeah, that, that's a, the, the, one of the two songs. The second one, if I may, Neil, um, this one is more recent. If you're familiar with the uh, movie Sing, yes, uh, one of the songs there was uh, Just Sing. Given in a fast moving world and there are a lot of challenges that we face, the war, uh, hunger and all those, and, and also things that impedes us from doing what we can. Um, I think that song, really encourages i mean it's more of a song that encourages people to just do it yeah and we can do it together oh man love that and love the reasons for choosing those two songs as well and for anyone listening that just would like to find out more information about everything that you're doing or, or even contact your team and carry this conversation on we started today what's the best starting point for everything uh i'm i'm available professionally via linkedin so yeah. we can just anyone can just search my name earl malivo of course um, and uh, further communications uh, by email can be done through my email, uh, which is uh, emailivo at roadhermit.com. Awesome. Well, I always say at the end of every episode that technology works best when it brings people together. But I love what you guys are doing here because you're using technology to give people all around the world convenient, quick and safe ways to send money whenever they need it, making sure that their hard earned money goes further than before. And I think climate that we're in at the moment, that is more important than ever. So thank you so much for taking the time to share your story with me today. Thank you very much for the opportunity, Neil. And God bless us all. I think with the industry seeing a massive shift towards a digital future, 
This company is in a unique position as a digital first remittance company because they've been in the digital remittance space since 2010. So I cannot thank them enough for coming on here, sharing the industry insights, experiences and technology trends that he's seeing right now and also the future of remittance in today's interview. So a big thank you to Earl for taking the time to share that. And as I said at the very beginning of the podcast, every day I take you on a journey to somewhere in the world and share a very human story of how technology is transforming our world. And I know there are people listening in 165 countries and I want to hear your story. I want to get it shared on here. So please email me. Tell me you listen to the show. Tell me you want to share your story. Maybe even ask a question. Whatever it is, techblogwriter at outlook.com. And as the cool kids would say, you can slide into my DMs on (laughs) Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn at Neil C. Hughes. But again, don't just hit follow. Send me a direct message and we'll keep this conversation going. But that's it for today. So a big thank you for listening as always. And until next time don't be a stranger thank you for listening to the tech talks daily podcast with neil c hughes remember technology works best when it brings people together